Shalom, 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 shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh. Yes, His only begotten Son, the Redeemer of Israel, the conquering Lion from the tribe of Judah, the beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, our King. Yes. We have a power, we have a king to boast in. That's the name that we are boasting. You see how all these nations, eh? they have their prime ministers, they have their president, they have their kings that they can boast in. Yes, we, the children of Israel, the 12th tribe of Israel, we have a big reunion coming with our king, the family reunion. Eh? Our king's name is Yahweh Shai, the one the world ignorantly called Jesus. His name is Yahweh Shai, family. The sacrifices that he made for us, that's right. That is why, family, we are about to have the biggest reunion ever. Yes, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So this family, hmm, like Apostle Paul said, there's a high time to wake out of sleep as we speak. We have Xi Jinping, the uh, Chinese president, in what? In Russia, family, meeting with Vladimir Putin. The two, the two, one, two, I think three of the most powerful, actually two of the most powerful nations right now in terms of military powers, family. They are teaming up. Why are they teaming up? Family, to fulfill the will of our power, Yahweh, the Third World War. Hmm? That's the time that we are living in. But family, it's all about the family reunion. Eh? It's all about the family reunion. The family reunion. Again, all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, our heavenly father, the, our heavenly father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Yes. And his only begotten son, the redeemer, the redeemer, the deliverer of Israel. His name is Yahweh Shai, who is coming in his glory. All praises, all praises, all praises, all praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Family, I am so excited. Hmm? I am so excited, family. We never thought this time would come. We never thought this time would come. Here we are. Family, here we are. Ready to receive a kingdom. All praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Rukakudash. But family, this reunion started with a word that our king gave to the apostles. So we're going to open it up with that. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 10. This shows you that the rest of the nation have nothing to do with the family reunion that is coming to Israel. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not in the way of the Gentiles. This particular, in this Gentile, in this context, is referring to the rest of the nations. Eh? It says here, These twelve Yahweh shall send forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. That's a specific instruction from the king of Israel, who is coming to redeem his elect. It says here, verse 6, it says, But go rather to the lost sheep. Hmm? Because at one point we were lost. We had no clue who we were. But family, this is all part of the movie that was written. Hmm? Here we are. We were lost, but the Lord, Yahweh shall send a specific instruction. It says, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And uh, as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You listen to that? He says, go and preach. Tell them the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So he's, he's speaking to a specific group of people. Yes. Hmm? The kingdom is not for everybody because Yahweh said, I made it clear. Let's bring another precept. Let's go to the book of uh, John. Hmm? Let's go to the book of John, uh, I think John 4, 19. Let's bring it up. John 4. 19, you guys know exactly where I'm going. Let's pick it up. It's John 4, 19. It says here, we know the episode with the woman at the well. Hear what the Lord said to her. It says, the woman says unto him, Say, I perceive thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped 
in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Hear what the king of Israel, Yahawashai, said to the woman. Yahawashai said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain, referring to that city, this mountain, this country, it says, the time cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Here, you know what the king is saying? He says, yeah, ye worship, ye know not. What? We know what we worship. For, listen to here, this is the key point. It says here, for salvation is of the Jews. That is clear. Salvation is of the Jews. He's speaking to the elect of Israel. Hey, let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 21, I believe. I think Jeremiah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter, what did I say? Jer Jeremiah 33? No, Jeremiah 3, 23, I think. Let's go. Here, and this is the Old Testament. Hear what Jeremiah has to say. One of my favorite prophets, Jeremiah chapter, chapter 3, verse 23, it says here. It says here. Uh, what is it? Yes. Listen to this. It says here. Truly. Hmm? It says, truly in vain is salvation hoped from. For the hills. Let's, let's repeat that. It says here. Truly in vain is salvation hoped for. From the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly in the Lord Yahweh. Our power is the salvation of Israel. You hear that? It said the rest of the nation, the mountains and the hill, is, is, they, they, are, they are looking for salvation in vain. That's what the Lord is saying. Let's repeat that again, family. It's Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 23. It says here, Truly in vain is salvation hoped for from the hills and from the multitude of mountains. Truly, in the Lord, our power is the salvation of Israel. You hear that? There's a family reunion coming. The Lord gave his apostles to go to the lost sheep of Israel. Yes. Because what is happening right now, we see this kingdom coming to an end. And everybody and their uncle, all these nations calling in the name of Jesus. Yes, he says, seek the, seek the Lord, seek the Lord. And don't get me wrong, I know. We will spread among these nations. We are going to look like some of these nations. Yes, there are some of us that are among these nations. But the Lord promised in Amos 9, 9, hey, that he's going, to, says like, he's going to save all Israel from all these nations. Because he spread us among these nations. Hmm? We are the only nation, family. We don't have a place to call our home. And yes, the Lord reminded us through the precepts. Because at one point, family, we thought this is it for us. We didn't know there was a kingdom coming for the Israelites. Family, there's a big reunion coming. All praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakudash. Hmm? This is to remind you that no matter what situation we are about to face, hmm? That's what the Lord said. We should come preach the gospel. Let them know. This is not your home. Don't try to forward your life here. Don't try to save your life here. Because if you try to save your life, you're going to lose it. That's right. We know what these devils are about to do. Family, they are about to collapse the society. What? Right? Family, you see all the financial system is slowly, they are bringing it down. Or to serve family systematically. But they, in their mind, they think they are going to build back better. That's right. This is all part of their plans. But I'm here to tell you in the mighty and the holy name of our King, the Redeemer of Israel, it will come to naught. Because family, the Lord is allowing them to destroy themselves. Yes. So your job is to wait on the Lord. Our King is coming. Oh, don't get it twisted. The King is coming. There's going to be the biggest union the world ever seen. Hmm? The fact that the Lord is about to change us. 
Yes, he's about to give us new bodies like he says in the book of Philippians 3:21, 20 and 21. He himself, he said it. I, this, these are not my words, family. He says, I'm going to fashion your body. I'm going to change your vile body because we know that this body is sick. The Lord said, I'm going to change your vile body to my glorious body. Family, that's what is coming. The biggest reunion ever. So, family, prepare your heart. Prepare your mind. No matter what we are about to enter into, tell yourself, I'm going to wait on the Lord. We are going to wait on the Lord. Family, we are going to wait on the Lord because we know what is coming for the elect. That family reunion, family, you know how we do, Jake. We love big parties. Right? We love big parties. And the Lord is about to get us out of this place. We came here on slave ship. Yes! We came here on slave ship, but family, we are about to get out of this place in spaceship. Yes, spaceship. The so-called UFOs, those are the chariots of Israel. We know because the Lord revealed his secret to his prophets. Yes, we know. Ezekiel, so not Ezekiel, it was uh, Elijah. Elijah. The understudy of Elijah. He was there when Elijah was beamed up into the chariot in the book of 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 11 down. When he screamed and he said, he screamed, family, he says, the chariot of Israel. <clears throat> he says, behold, family, he screamed on top of his lawn. He rent his clothes. When he saw his master, his, 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 his mentor, Elijah, being beamed up into those chariots. He said, the chariot of Israel. Family, we know what they are. There's a big, 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 big family reunion coming. And there's nothing this nation can do about it. Our job is to sit tight. Eh? Our job is to sit tight and uh, trust in the process. Eh? Trust in the process. Trust in the process because the Lord made it clear that we are the apple of his eyes. Family, let's go to the book of, is it Deuteronomy quickly? Deuteronomy chapter, is it 7, 6? Let's see, is it Deuteronomy 7, 6? Yes, it says here, for thou, listen to this. It says, for thou, for thou, for thou, it's talking to Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord. Why are we holy? We were the only one the laws, the statutes and commandments were given to. Hey? We were the only one. The rest of the nation, they didn't receive it. No. This is a family affair. There's a big family reunion coming at the end of all this nonsense. Yes. So we want to be part of it. And we pray that we are among the numbers. So no matter what the plan, no matter what these guys are offering you, Esau is offering you family, it's not for you. It's not for you. We want to be part of that family reunion with our power, our king. We're going to boast in the name of our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yes. Hey, that's the time that we're about to enter into. It says here. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6, it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh, thy power. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Are you listening to this? The Lord is not about everybody coming together. For what? One, what was what? One world order. No. The Lord separated us. Hmm? But we, Israel, we want to be part of everything. Let's all come together. One love. The hell with one love. The Lord is not about that. The Lord is about separation. Right? That's what he is. He didn't say we should go and mingle with these people. But that's, that's, that's why we are in the state that we are in. But the Lord, Yahweh is about to change that. He's about to redeem his elect. We are supposed to be above the nations. And that is coming. The family reunion is coming. All the northern tribe, the, 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 at one point the kingdom was, was divided. But this time, all the 12 tribes are coming together. And that's the kingdom of heaven, family. That's what we're supposed to be preaching. It's not about us mingling with these nations. The Lord is about separation. 
He says what again? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord. Yahweh. Thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be special people above all people. What does that mean? Special people above all people. Hey? Unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that? So if anybody is telling you, we all have to come together. One new world order. Yeah, speak one language. No. It's not for you. It's not for you. We are looking forward to the reunion, the family reunion that is coming. And it's fast approaching. This unit, this multipolar world that Russia, China, Iran, all this, uh, the global south are putting together, is going to fail. Because that's not what the, the Lord wants. After America, the, 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 the little horn in, in, uh, in what? Daniel 7, 8. Daniel 7, 8. Seven, Daniel chapter 7, verse 7 and 7, verse 8. The little horn. Horn simply means power. That's right. America came out of the British. And that's the last rulership before Yahweh visits the planet. And the family, that time is fast approaching. Because America is not going to sit back and watch China. And watch China and the Russia and all these nations come together and take it down. So what's good? Is that going to lead to what? Third World War. And that's what we are waiting for. That's how close we are. That's how close we are because the Lord made it clear that in the midst of that third world war, like he says in the second book of Ezra chapter 13, he is going to show up. And then he says somewhere in Revelation that when he shows up, all these nations are going to put their differences aside and fight the second coming of our king, Yahweh Shai. And he already told you, Revelation 18, it's only going to take one hour. One hour. It's like the movie I watch. What's it called? It could, it could, is it a... Oh, is it uh, something with Denzel Washington? I can't remember the movie. What is it called? Ah, is any time that he wants to beat up somebody, he set his clock? Ah, it's not an equalizer. Is it an equalizer? It could be an equalizer. I can't remember now. I think it's an equalizer. He just turned his clock. It's like 40 seconds and boom. He just, just start kicking ass as a family. Yes, that's how the Lord is going to set an hour. It says one hour. If the Lord says one hour... You can bet your house on it. It's going to be one hour. But family, let's continue. There's a reunion coming. There's a reunion coming, family. And our job is to sit tight. The Lord is about to do amazing things for Israel. The Lord told you that for the rest of the nation are nothing to him. Isaiah 14, verse 17. You see? Baruch. But let's go to the book of Baruch. Let's read a bit, a bit of Baruch. Uh, Baruch chapter 2. Let's go to the book. Uh, Baruch chapter 2, family. Oh, the sun is in my eyes. Please bear with me. Yeah, Baruch chapter 2. Let's pick it up from verse... Uh, let's pick it up from verse, verse 27. Right? Family, the book, uh, the book of Baruch chapter 2, verse 27. Oh Lord, our power, thou hast dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all thy great mercy of thine. How thou spokest by the servant Moses in the day when thou did command him to write the law before the children of Israel. Saying, you hear that? The children of Israel. He didn't say all these nations. The law, statutes, and commandments were given to the children of Israel. That's why Yahweh Shai says, no, don't go to the Gentiles. No, go to the Lord's sheep of what? Israel. And preach. Tell them the kingdom of heaven is here. That's what we are doing right now. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It is so close that family we can taste it. Because the moment you receive this word, that kingdom is already is in you. Yahweh I said it. It's not by watching. It's in you. Because you have accepted this word. It says here, As thou spokest by the servant Moses in the day when thou did command him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If ye will not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. You hear that? Where I will scatter them. Who scattered us? Yahweh. Because why? We couldn't keep the commandments and the statutes and the laws. He scatters among all these nations. That's why we are in Jamaica. We are in Barbados. We are in the west coast of Africa. We are in Ghana, Nigeria, Mali, Congo. We are all over the world. We are in the Philippines, Vietnam, China. We are all over the place. You hear that? He says here, Verse 29, he said, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nation, where I will scatter them. 
He says, Hear, for I knew. Verse 10, he said, For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff necked people. Hey? The Lord wasn't lying. Because, oh, Israel is stubborn. We are stubborn. Hmm? We don't listen. We always want to be somebody else. But we do. The Lord planted a beautiful vine. But the, the question is, how did we become such a degenerate? Hey? The Lord wasn't lying. The family, it is what it is. But here we are in the last days. Here, let's, let's continue. Just here. For I knew that they would not hear me. This is Baruch chapter 2 verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me. Because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I, you see that? He said, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them a an heart and ears to hear. A heart goes to the word love, meaning your mind. In the land of their captivities. Family, we are still in our captivity because last time I checked, before I fly, family, I need a passport. I, still need, I have a birth certificate. I have social insurance card. Family, yes. We are not free yet. But the Lord, how was I? Family, that's why he's going to get all the glory on that day. That big family reunion, family, all credit is going to be given to our king, how was I? Because he's the one that's about to deliver us. Yes, that's what his name His name means he delivers. Family, that's how was I? In the Hebrew term, it says here, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing right now. Because this is going to lead to our family reunion with our king, Yahweh Shai. Yeah? Because now that we know who we are, we know our transgression, and then we're repenting and calling upon his name, he's going to send his son to come and deliver. Just like when we were in Egypt. Hard bondage. Eh? We cry and cry and cry, and he sent Moses, eh? along with the angels, to come and deliver us from Egypt. The same thing is happening right now. We are remembering ourselves. It says here, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Family, you hear that? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob family, that big family reunion, you don't want to miss it. All our forefathers are going to be there. You better believe it. And family, we are so close, we can taste it. Hmm? So no matter what solution Esau is about to offer you, family, tell Esau, listen, your kingdom is coming to an end and mine is next. Whatever, this, whatever you got to do, just do it. Hey? Do it. Because we want to see the power. Because he says, I uh, want he says when they he says well, when they come they come as a, a flood. I think somewhere in Isaiah where he says, uh, where is that precept? Uh, he says, when the enemy comes as what? A, 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 when the enemy comes as flood, I will raise up a standard. Somewhere in Isaiah. Is this Isaiah 59? I think somewhere in Isaiah, Isaiah 50, 59. So family. When they come up with all these draconian laws and trying to make things difficult for you, we don't know how things are going to play out at the end of at the end when it's all said and done because this place is going to be very chaotic. But we know that the Lord is going to raise a standard. Your job is to wait and trust in the Lord. Family, we are about to see some miracles like never before. Hey? And that's the mindset that we should be in. We know that even during farming, farming, the Lord sent ravens to go feed Elijah. The Lord is sending, uh, he's sending chariots. We do, family, you see, we like to put the Lord in this little small box. He's the omnipotent power. There's nothing that he cannot do for us. You think the fact that we are remembering ourselves is on our own? No. He is the one, he sent the spirit down to wake us up. That's the power that we serve. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. There is nothing the Lord will not do for us. You hear that? So family, it's all about the reunion. It's all about the reunion. It says here, verse 34, Baruch chapter 2, verse 34. It says, and I will bring them again into the land which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be laws of it. And I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. You hear that? Yes, those who don't make it on this end, 
They're going to be born back into the kingdom as newborn babies because at the end of the day, the Lord says, all even our wicked Israelites, they're all going to be saved. That's what Apostle Paul says, all Israel shall be saved. There's no place where people burn forever. Family, that's the nonsense that they taught in the plantation Christianity. Hell is conditioned. Hell is the grave. Okay, hell. We are in our hell right now. The fact that we are at the bottom of society, people, businesses can come into our community and they will prosper. But family, we are the ones that continue to spend money on in, money helping them, building their society. But nobody speak on our behalf. We are in hell. This is Esau's heaven. We are in our hell. So family, there's no place where people burn forever. The Lord is full of tender mercy. The Lord is very merciful. Eh? He's not going to lie. But they use the hell doctrine to family to deceive the people. Eh? To deceive the people. Make money. The church is all about money, family. Yes. The Lord said, freely I give, freely go. Teach. Teach the word. Family, don't worry about your, your, your daily bread. I will take care of you. Eh? But the, 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 the church have been turned into businesses. Eh? They've been turned to business. But you all have to answer to the Lord. Eh? The Lord is bringing judgment. The Lord is bringing judgment. They have taken advantage of the meek, the lowly. Eh? You see our people day in and day out getting up, going to church on Sundays. They can barely afford whatever. <clears throat> they can barely afford their rent. Their food, but they go and dump money on the pastors. Eh? And look at the pastor. They're all fat, overweight. Eh? They have more than heart could wish for. They're all going to answer to the Lord. They're all going to answer to the Lord. Let's continue. It says here, Baruch chapter 2, verse 35. It says, And I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will do no more. It says, I will, no, I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. This is it. Eternal, eternal life, an everlasting kingdom. Because we, Yahweh is going to be among us. We're going to receive our new bodies. Yes, our new bodies. Yes, our new heart. Yes, our glorious family. What the Lord is about to do for us. Hey, there's nothing in this world that, that can come close to it. This place is finished. This place is finished. The nations are getting ready for third world war. Hey. Our job is to trust in the Lord. Family, the family reunion is coming. It's coming. Let's finish off. What time is it? Oh, 27 minutes. Oh, let's, let's go. Let's, let's finish off with, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. The big reunion. Hmm? Oh, yes. As bed fly. Oh, yes. Let's go to Isaiah 31 verse 5. How are we getting out of this place here? Let's go to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 35. We know that immediately after the tribulation, family, you know, Isaiah 35, Isaiah, no, no, Isaiah, Isaiah 31, Isaiah 31, 5. It says, Isaiah 31, 5, it says here, read this, it says here, as birds, as birds fly. You see, when you watch, the, when you see birds fly, there's always like <coughs> one bird leading the, the pack, right? That's how the Lord is coming. The Lord is coming with the chariot, the biggest ship, the father ship. And then the rest of the angels are going to follow him. Eh? You see? It says here, Isaiah 31 verse 5, it says, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Jerusalem were people. He's speaking of the Israelites. Okay? They were people before it became a place. Anytime you hear Jerusalem, that's Israelite. Okay? As the birds, as birds flying, so will the Lord of the Lord Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. You hear that? Passing over. This is the last Passover. Remember when we left Egypt? The Passover? What did the Lord do? He asked us to, what, to mark our doors, right? And then the angel was going to pass us over, right? Meaning deliverance. And if there was no blood on your door, what? He killed you, right? So remember the Lord, Yahweh Shai. was Yahweh Shai. He was the angel. He killed all the firstborn of the land, including beasts. Okay? So this is the last Passover. Again, Isaiah 31, verse 5. When the Lord passed you over, that means you were up in the chariot. But if you are left here, <laughs> family, you're going to be turned into a barbecue. It says here, Isaiah 31, verse 5. As birds flying, so would the Lord, Yahweh, of hosts, defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Because he's coming, with, he's coming uh, in, in his chariot, in all the chariot, the angels, Family, there are going to be thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of, uh, of angels. Eh? That's how the Lord is coming. That's how Yahweh is coming. And these nations are very, very, very worried. Don't worry. The Pentagon said what? Now they've seen 
some type of them, some type of alien ship. Oh yeah, family is not alien. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. These people are liars. These people are liars. We know that that's the chariot of the Lord. And the Lord is making appearance. He's speaking to us. That's why these nations are worried. But they haven't seen anything yet. Things are going to get worse. The family, we are all thinking about re the reunion. The family reunion is coming. And we want to be part of it. Right? We want to be part of it. We want to be part of it. But let's finish off with the book of... Uh, let's go back again. Uh, uh, second Ezra. Second Ezra. Uh, 13, I think. Let's pick it up from... Please bear with me. No, Second Ezra chapter two. Sorry, so so sorry, sorry. Let's go. Second Ezra chapter two. Let's go to. Uh, Second Ezra chapter two. From this the reunion. Eh? Listen to the reunion. Okay. Second Ezra chapter forty two. No, what am I saying? Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with song. You hear that? And them, in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. These are the 144,000 governors that are going to be ruling the world. He set a crown over their head. This is the family reunion. It says here. It says here. Upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marvel at greatly. So Ezra is seeing this vision. Okay? He says, So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off their mortal clothing. This is the mortal clothing that we have. This, this here. Yes, yeah, we are subject to sin. We are subject to death. Hey? He says here, He answered me and said unto me, Sorry, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of our power, and now they crown and receive palms. Palms mean victory. Eh? They confess the name of who? Our King Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Ezra is seeing this. Eh? And he's asking the angel, What are these? What is this I'm seeing? The angel is explaining everything to This is the angel Uriel. Whom the Lord said, our Yahweh sent to go and reveal to Ezra what is going to be happening in the last days. He says here, verse 44. Sorry, verse 46. He says here, Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? He's asking, Who is that man? The one putting the crowns on these, these, these beautiful people. Hey? He says here, verse 47. He says here, so he answered and said unto me, It is the son of power. You hear that? It is Yahweh Shai that is doing it. It's Yahweh Shai, the son of the only, the only begotten son of our power, Yahweh. It's Yahweh Shai that is putting the crown on our head. Lord willing, we are among the numbers. He says here, So then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of our power, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're standing for the name of our King Yahweh. Shai. That's the name that we are boasting in. The King of Kings. He's coming to inherit the entire universe. Yahweh Shai. And he promised that he's going to share 
everything with his elect. Hey? And that's what is coming. He says here. Let's repeat that again. Verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of our power, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to, to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name. You hear that? The name of the Lord. He says here, Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Go, tell them what I have shown you. And this year, family, that's the reunion, the family reunion. Face to face with the king, Yahweh Shai. Face to face with Yahweh Shai, family. You know what that day is going to be like? He's going to come immediately after the tribulation on that, those days. Matthew 24, 29. He's going to send his angel to gather all his elect into the ship. Whatever he's going to take us, because family, there will be so much things going on. Yes. Hey? Dead bodies everywhere is going to take us somewhere. We're going to have our family reunion. Hey? Hey? We're going to have crowns put on our head. Everybody's going to know their role in the kingdom. That is what is coming. The family reunion of Israel. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. That's what we want to be part of. That's what is coming. That's what is coming. That's what is coming. So, family, we're going to leave it there. All praises, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekwakodash, for having mercy on Israel, for remembering us. We were lost as people, but here we are in the last days of the last days. Eh? He has poured his spirit upon us. He has given us the gospel of the kingdom and we are family alive once again because we were dead as people. But here we are about to receive the kingdom like no other. With that, honor, glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash. So family, there's a family reunion coming. Yes. And you want to be part of it. Okay, you want to be part of it. And I hope you will edify again all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakodash, who made it possible for me to do this lesson and to edify the sheep. Shalom, beloved, shalom.